Hello everybody, welcome to Noah's Ark. Um, we miss seeing you all a lot and can't wait to play again soon. Hope you're all keeping well and happy and uh, and busy and playing lots of games and yeah and welcome again to this week's Noah's Ark. Bye! Hello everyone! Welcome to Noah's Ark. That was such a lovely welcome Ellie and Otto. It was great to see you. Now this week at Noah's Ark we have got so much fun in store for you. We've got loads of songs, we've got a game, we've got a craft and a really great story and it's all about being happy and also sheep. Are you excited? Yeah! Are you excited? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, now the first thing I want you to do is to do a really, really happy face. Can you do that? Happy face. Happy face. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. What sort of things make you happy? What sort of things make you happy? Chocolate. Chocolate. What we're going to do now is Chocolate. we're going to sing a few songs. I'm going to hand over to Christina and Jono and Micah, her boys, for the hello song. And then we're going to sing two songs. One is a song that you all know about being happy, if you're happy and you know it. And the other one is called Bar Bar Black Sheep, which I'm sure you know. And that's because our story is about a sheep. Okay, so get ready to sing. Maybe get up, get stretched, woo! And get ready to do some singing, some loud singing, some actions, and I hope you really enjoy Noah's Ark this week. Okay, bye! Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet, stamp, 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 stamp. And turn around, reach up high, and bend down low. It's good to see you, hello. hello. It's good to see you, hello. Hey everyone, it's good to see you. For this moment, we're just going to do a show for you. We're going to sing. We're going to do if you're happy and you know it. So you need to get on your feet for this song. Everyone on your feet. On your feet, Bella. On your feet, Grace. Okay. You're not going to stand okay. up. Ready? Oh, Bella, come back a bit. If you're happy and you know it, clap. clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, yeah. say I am, I am. <coughs> if you're happy and you know it, say I am, I am. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say I am, I am. <coughs> it, okay, this one's going to be a really hard one because we're going to do all four. Okay, so can you remember what the four were? They were uh, clap your hands, then we did turn around, nod your head and say I am. Okay, ready? If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap your hands, turn around, nod your head. I am. <coughs> Come on, Grace. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Turn around. Turn around. Better. <laughs> Say, uh, nod your head. I am. I am. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap your hands. Turn around. Nod your head. I am. I am. Yeah. This next song is all about a sheep and all the wool it makes. Let's sing Ba Ba Black Sheep. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. 
One for the master and one for the dame And one for the little boy who lived down the lane Thank you, said the master, thank you, said the dame, and thank you, said the little boy who lived down the lane. Wow, great singing, everyone. That was so loud, I could almost hear you from our house. Everyone, I've got a little guest here with me now. Does anyone remember his name? No. What's his name? William. William, yay. Oh. And he's waving. <laughs> Oh, this is William, if you remember him. He's getting really big now. Um, anyway, we're gonna have our story now from Zoe. So why don't you pause the video, go and get a little snack, and find a comfy seat, and we'll watch and listen to our story for this week from Zoe. Thanks, Zoe, bye. Jesus told this story. There was once a farmer who had 100 sheep. One day when the farmer was counting them, three, four, five, you get the idea, 96, 97, 98, 99, the farmer realized one was missing. Oh no! So, the farmer left all the other sheep and went to find that one lost sheep. The farmer looked everywhere under pots, up high, behind things, and even in other people's gardens. The farmer looked and looked and looked until the one lost sheep. Then the farmer picked up the sheep and carried him home. When they got home, the farmer had a party with friends to celebrate finding the lost sheep. Jesus told this story to show us how God feels when someone realizes they've done wrong, says sorry, and then asks to be friends with God. He is so happy, just like the farmer. Oh, thanks, though, for that story. Isn't that amazing? We're just like those sheep. And when God finds us, he's so happy, he has a party. You have a party? Yay! Yay! that happy that's so cool okay we're going to find out more about this week's craft from zoe so over to zoe again morning everyone and welcome to noah's art craft no prizes for guessing what we're going to do today we're going to make a little sheep just like you saw in my video you will need glue of some sort something for the sheep's wool eyeballs have any googly eyes, a nice thick pen, scissors, a little bit of black paper, and a sheet of white card. Now I want my sheet to stand up when I've made it, so I'm using card, but if you don't have that, just go ahead and draw the sheet straight onto the paper like this. If you want a standing up sheet, this is what I'm going to do. First of all, take your piece of paper and fold it in half. And then you're going to draw a sheep on it. Maybe an adult can help you with this bit. Now, once you've drawn it, you're going to cut it out. If 
you want him to stand up, be careful not to cut this top bit. I'll show you what I mean. Now here's a bit where you can add lots of extra things if you'd like. I'm going to do a little black face. Mice also want to do his legs black as well. And then if you've got googly eyes, you stick them on his face. Otherwise, you can just cut out white circles of paper. back in a second to show you what your finished product can look like. See you in a bit. Here we are guys. This is what he looks like. You can see he can stand up all by himself and he's got fluffy wool and cute little eyes. What you could do once you finish your sheep is play hide and seek with it. Just like we heard in story time where the man went looking for his one lost sheep. I hope you've enjoyed the craft. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to send the team pictures of your sheep. Bye! Wow, what a cool craft. Make sure you send in your, video, uh, your videos, your photos of that um, into the Noah's Ark WhatsApp group so we can see what you've been making and what you've been up to. Um, okay, we're going to do a couple more songs. I think we're going to do Jumping Beans. We haven't done enough jumping beans, shall we? Who wants to go first? Me. Bella. Okay, Bella's going to go first. Ready? And you can do your own names in your own house. Ready? Grace, will you help me? Bella is a jumping bean, the biggest bean you've ever seen. She can jump so high, she can nearly touch the sky. Can touch the sky? Ready? Grace's turn. Grace is a jumping bean, the biggest bean you've ever seen. She can jump so high, she can nearly touch the sky. Okay, let's all do it together. Ready? We're going to do everyone as a jumping bean. Ready? Everyone is a jumping bean, the biggest bean you've ever seen. They can touch the sky, they can nearly touch the sky. Got the words wrong there? Yeah. Okay, this next song is one of the adults' favourites. It's the Grand Old Duke of York. Um, and instead of Toby or Calvin, I have Mr. Bun. Here we go. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. He marched them to the right. He marched them till they were upside down. Oh, what a silly sight. We're going to play a game. Just like the sheep was lost and then uh, got found. We're going to play a game of hide and seek. So, Grace has hidden. And I need your help and Bella's help. You gonna help me, Bella? Yeah? To find Grace. She's somewhere in this room, but we can't find her. We don't know where she's gone. We've given her 10 seconds to hide, and we're gonna say, ready or not, here we come. Okay, Bella, where's Grace? Yeah. We're gonna find her. Okay, ready? Okay, you can have a game of hide and seek on your own. Well, not on your own, hopefully, but in your own house. Okay, thanks for helping me find Grace. We found her. Guys, that is it for this week's Noah's Ark. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing your crafts, and we'll see you back here next week for more stories and more Noah's Ark fun. Bye! Want to say bye, girls? Bye. Bye.